In Florida alone, the shutdown hits 10 to 30,000 federal workers. It closes national parks around the country. In Glen County, one community group is doing its best to go in and pick up trash at two national parks. Members say, though, they need some help. Fort Fredrika National Monument and Bloody Marsh Battle Sites, both on St. Simons Island, are open, but the workers are still off the clock. And it's impacting cleanup. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding reports. Keep Golden Isles Beautiful says it needs volunteers to help take out the trash and pick up litter. Now they tell us the site manager is walking the grounds once a day, helping out as much as possible, but he's not being paid and that's why they need volunteers to step up. If you've driven through Fort Federica National Monument, you've probably learned something about its history and taken in its raw natural beauty. Those are the things that bring people to the park, despite the government shutdown. It was all locked up. Grant Sinfield works at Fort Federica during the summer, and he's volunteering his time right now to help keep it clean. How important to, is it, though? To oh, it's, it's, to me, it's real important because, you know, you need the history and this is what this place is about, is about the history. With no word on how long the shutdown will last, more volunteers are needed. Leah King Bedina is executive director of Keep Golden Isles Beautiful. She says the site manager is doing the basic work without pay. When he can't be here, having the community's help will make a difference. General folks really don't realize that these sorts of things are happening at the parks and at the, at the monument. So for locally, for us, it gives our community members a chance to be part of a solution and to help out and to help our neighbors. Anybody who wants to volunteer, just come here to the visitor center. There's this volunteer supply bin where you can get rubber gloves and garbage bags at your disposal. Knowing the shutdown could take time is why the group wants to get the message out there. And the Bloody Marsh Battle site is another area where help is needed. It's about six miles away from Fort Frederica. Again, help is needed there. And if you're interested in volunteering, head over to our website, newsforjax.com, to learn how. I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.